The newfound allies race toward the altar, but find they are too late. Lady Luna Freya has passed. Enraged by the loss of his sister, Ravis lashes out at the still unconscious Noctis, who he blames for Luna's death. Sympathetic to Ravis's plight, yet determined to keep his friend from harm, Ignis takes arms. I kind of, like, because a part of me fears that to get the alternate, you need to go and get all the key items. Oh, note. To, what even was the uh, the prompto note? What even was the prompto note? That basically confirms that to get the alternate ending, you have to go through and get all the key items. That basically confirms it. I swear, because you look, if you look at it, you can't read the note. I looked in the inventory, you can't read the note. Which means that... Uh... Aha. Uh -huh. Ah. But at the same time, this is so good. The story is so good. The character is so good. I kind of want to do it. I probably won't do it on screen. But at the same time, I want I kind of want to get my reactions because this this is brilliant. It's like this is one of the few things that is just like get me talk 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 talk. It gets me talking. It's so good. And it's like, I, I like how it actually tells you, though. Unlocked a new branch. Because obviously we got the good ending. So the next up would be the bad ending. And the alternate ending. Still... This DLC is better than the main game. I, I, I am staking my name on that. This DLC is better than this entire game. Biggie! Gladio! Are you alright? Where's Prompto? Of course, we have to watch this again. Well, and then choose the other thing. What have we here? <laughs> Arden. Arden. Oh dear. Time to see the terrible transition again. Like, I get it. You can't really have him, uh, have his hat appear out of nowhere that easily. <laughs> that stock smack sound effect! I can't even get mad. This game, this, this DLC is too good. Question, why did he have to smack him up the head with a boot just to get this? Let's see if I can get the best uh, angles possible. Come now, why not follow your leisure's lead and stop resisting? <laughs> Never! You risked life and limb to safeguard the king of kings, only to witness him fail, so... <laughs> So disappointed. Unhand him! I know I am. Oh, what good is a world that only ever lets you down? Why not end it all right here? No. You can't. <laughs> no! What's the choice now? What's the. Can't wait to see what the choices is now. Because the last one was so amazing. Bull I doubt it, they could top it. I doubt they can top Ignis using the ring. But... I have to see it. I have to see it. I love this DLC too much. I love this DLC too much. I have to see the endings. I have to see all the endings and the fact that they gave it to you. to make a suggestion. Rather than follow this flotsam and float away to a watery grave, why not join him? That's the ending? That's the bad ending. I, I, oh, I am tangling with anticipation! Play along, dude. I gotta see it. I know this is gonna end badly, but I gotta see it. Having arrived at the altar of the Tide Mother, Ignis finds himself surrounded by the Empire. Arden, though, then lays before him two options. Come along to Niflheim, or get swept beneath the waves. 
What sacrifice is the young tactician willing to make to save his clear friend Noctis? Dear friend. Damn it, D. You look so much like a C next to an L. <laughs> but, oh, I'm tingling. I'm tingling. What could this possibly be? Oh. Because, like, few things, so few things have touched me. Touched me this way. One of the others is Night in the Woods. This. This. If the game was more like this. If Final Fantasy XV was more like this. Smaller scope, maybe. Smaller, maybe smaller scopes. Less choices. Just have it be more epic. Maybe have Branching's choices. And have stuff like this in the main game. Just for awesomeness sake. Where are we? Oh. You have to ask. <laughs> Why, Zignotus Keep, of course. Otherwise known as the current residence of your precious crystal. <gasps> have I piqued your curiosity? You must have so many questions. <laughs> Seek the answers yourself, if you dare. <laughs> <laughs> Chapter four, in a way. If his word is good, then he's brought me to Gralia. The question is why? What's his game? <laughs> oh, I can't get my focus up. Ooh. Ah, so this is what it looked like before I went to shit. I doubt it's going to be that expansive, but still. I have to see where this goes. What? Blessed was the man born for the throne, yet he, so impure of heart, was denied by the stone and cast into ignominy. Feeding on the dusk and embracing the darkness, he spurned the dawn, affecting a life untouched by time. And through the coming of night eternal, he now seeks to exact vengeance upon his own blood. And once again! Vengeance upon his own blood. Is that why he's after I God? need... The stone. Chrysalis to the soul of our star. Cradle to the king, destined to serve as vessel of its light. Gods and men alike awaited the coming of the chosen as they fought to fend off darkness blight. For he and he alone would possess the power to purge our star of its skirk. The Noct really must be the chosen king after all. I need a Final Fantasy game that's like this, but instead of having so much open world, have it instead be much more along the lines of, uh, have it be much more along the lines of, uh, like, you can choose your own, like, path, or, you, yeah, you can choose your own path, your own story, and have stuff like this. Make a Final Fantasy game that is based off of this DLC alone! I have a perfect gag for my, uh, for my game of the year 2017 now. Yeah. No, you don't. I have a perfect freaking gag. Because it sums up my feelings so well now. This is the best that Final Fantasy XV has ever been. This! This is amazing! Why wasn't this in the main game? Why didn't they take... Why didn't they push it in this direction? This was amazing! And there's so many elixirs and stuff that there has to be more! There has to be like a final boss! Oh! I'm so excited I'm going Mickey Mouse! This is just freaking amazing. This is just bloody amazing. This is just... Yes. Oh. 
<laughs> For a moment, I thought it was just like, oh, what? Was it the, the uh, what's her name? Prompto's girlfriend. <laughs> we had like so many. This is just, this is just so good. That like a part of me knows that if this wasn't a part of uh, that, if this wasn't a uh, DLC, it wouldn't exist. The other part of me is saying that they st should have delayed the game purely to have this be a part of the main game. Once the sacred ring is replete with power, the true king will complete his ascension. Only then can he banish the blight upon our star. By the power of the light alone is the chosen king made manifest. With the glaive of kings, the stone of legend, and the ring of light in hand, the Chosen's power will surpass that of even the gods themselves. By that self-same power, with the true king as its vessel, the darkness shall be purged from our star, and dawn shall return to our world once more. This game is so diddly, this DLC is so diddly damn good that it is making DLC, like, no, this DLC is so good that it's making exposition good. This is it. A lot of demon stuff around that crystal. <sighs> Why are you after knocked for revenge? In a sense, yes. But my aims extend beyond the boy. He's more of a means to an end. I suppose I never revealed my proper name, so allow me to introduce myself. Lucis Kylo. The Founder King? If only. No, that would be my dear brother, who snatched the throne and cast me into exile. Now I finally know who you are! your majesty before. Would you do me the honor? My allegiance lies with the true king alone. Well then, off with your head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't want a stinking camera. What? Do I not have any items? Drat. I had items, damn you. Of course, this is supposed to be a force lost battle. Maybe. Maybe you could beat him. Likely, uh, I take it back. I think the alternate ending is beating him there. I think the alternate ending. And then at the same time, is this really? Yeah, then again, the bad ending technically would be an alternate ending, so it's kind of hard to say. Mm. The only downside to retrying that boss fight again and again and again is it would take so long to get to. Checkpoint. Oh. Oh my. Oh my. You see, the revenge I seek is not upon the boy. I only wish to punish the crystal that cast me aside in favor of that insufferable fool. He's certainly taking his sweet time ascending as its champion, though. Would there were a way to expedite the process! The ring. This world means nothing to me. 
do with it as you wish. Uh, how did you get your hands on that? Could I refuse to let Nob sacrifice his life to save ours? <laughs> I won't let you take him away. <laughs> he this is amazing. Lose my own life to save him. I will pay that price. <laughs> That is a powerful moment. Like even he saw the future. Like the other future. Like seeing Doc there and he's like, oh. That as it may, I am going to kill you. <laughs> this is amazing. This feels like it could have been a fully fleshed, like yeah. Elseworld story, even, or just like if this game had like multiple choices, it'd be like oh, choices for different characters to make over the course of the game would be amazing. If this was in the main game. This would have been the best game if the game was more like this. Just amazing. Not to mention, it's going the same way but differently. Wow, they even have Artem on the uh, yeah, Artem on the ropes. You're mine! Uh, the Rings enchantment is worn off. Oh dang it. Fairly well. Aw. What am I doing? <laughs> if thou dost wish to save the king, a sacrifice must be made. Sacrifice my life. The contract is forged. The ring is now thine to control. I will do what Ulrich did in the in the in the movie. Your sacrifice has granted you the full power of the ring. Take this, Arden. Times 52 damage. Take this, Arden. This is amazing. Seriously, I, this makes me want a Final Fantasy game in this style with choices and a world and stuff like this. Just make it amazing. I kind of, I'm definitely gonna be replaying this to make this choice again, just to see what like, um, uh, the choices are at uh, like what happens if I give up or uh, risk 
my life instead of sacrificing it. Because this is amazing. This is amazing. Don't try harder. Excuse me, you're almost dead. I'm afraid you're no match for me. Excuse you. You can keep ducking no me down. Me. Not over yet. I saw potions. Down with you. This is amazing. I'm brilliant. And here I thought that it, it couldn't get any better. <laughs> the best laid plans, eh? It may have eluded me for now. But rest assured, I shall have my revenge. Ignis! Ravis. He lent us a hand, if you can believe it. What the hell were you thinking? How could we let this happen? How could I let this happen? This is all my fault. No. If I'm really some kind of savior, why can't I save the ones I love? I'm sorry. You guys have stayed with me this whole time. And all it's done is cost you pain. <sighs> Not anymore. All that ends now. Please, lend me your strength! Help me protect my friends! I don't care if this is a Disney movie ending. This would be stinking amazing. Is it gonna be like a reverse thing where it's like, uh, Noctis sacrifices himself to save, uh, Ignis? Hmm. So this is definitely the alternate ending. Is that it? We'll see what happens next. Cause still, listen well. Who reaches? A king cannot lead by standing still. A king pushes onward always, accepting the consequences and never looking back. I assume that's the alternate ending, and it's stinking amazing as well! This almost makes me wish that the entire game played like this, and you played as Ignis instead. Helping Noctis along the way, because this is freaking amazing.
And then we could have played through the, like, what, five-year time gap? Oh, hey! I wonder what they're doing exactly. Well, I mean, since Arden isn't there to make the world go dark... Freaking amazing! You could just imagine... So much of it... Oh no, there's this guy getting dark. Maybe? It could be just getting nighttime. No, it's the darkness coming in. That shot is basically like looming darkness. But so much was avoided. Let me play in that future. This is stinking amazing! And then he comes back again. And he has the tinted glasses even though he doesn't need it. Best DLC! Best DLC! It's been a long road, but at last we've arrived. Yeah. Prompto. Gladio. Iggy. For ten years, everything we've done was in preparation for this day. And today, we finish it. Right. Today, we walk tall together. Best freaking DLC. This is a better story than the stinking main game. I'm saying it now. This is the best timeline. Best timeline. <laughs> That's a stupid little beard, too! Best timeline! Best timeline! Team Ignis? I think it said at the end of those credits. Because apparently I'm guessing different uh, teams worked on the different DLCs. Team Ignis takes the stinking cake. At the same time, they had the best head start at the from the start. They had the best stinking material to work with! But then they had went a, like a bit further. Like if they had the if they had the ability to be like, hey, can we have like an alternate choicing since uh Ignis' episode is the most plot relevant? And have like an alternate thing and a bad ending and a good ending? It's just like This is the good ending! I screw you, this is the good ending! The bad ending is the canon ending, and I'm sticking to that! <laughs> best thing! Best thing! Best thing! Best DLC! Best part of the stinking game! Noctis better be there. Noctis better be there because stinking Ignis... I... I he... God damn it. Noctis didn't need to sacrifice himself. I was ready to sacrifice myself. It's like a chain of sacrificing people. I sacrifice myself to save you. I sacrifice myself to save you. I sacrifice myself to save you. Is he alive or is he dead? Because he's... He's alive! <gasps> That's literally the best timeline! Versed. Uh, more. <laughs> oh. This is hands down the best DLC. 
and I am over the fact that it should be in the main game. I no longer care. This is the best damn thing ever. This is the best thing. I was more invested in this episode than the entire freaking game. This has better gameplay than the main game. This has a better story than the main game. This has the... I want a Final Fantasy game to be based off this DLC, where it's purely following a team of people and you play as one of them. I wanted to be like on Ignis. It's like, basically, if Final Fantasy XV was like this, and you could play as Ig if it was like Ignis was the main character, and you're a, a part of the team, and you're trying to make sure that Noctis gets through it, and it was laden with choices like that at key points, and the game was a bit more linear like older RPGs, because of course RPGs are always kind of open world. But this one is notably a bit more like open world-ish, a bit MMO-ish, if you ask me. Where you go from place to place, like, oh, here's a whole bunch of quests, go do a whole bunch of quests. And then you go from place to place and new quests open up. But this, this is freaking amazing. I swear, it looks better than the normal game. It plays better than the normal game, has a better story than the normal game, and it has wonderful, it has the brilliant thing of making, like, Ignis, who I was kind of down on in the beginning, because Ignis was always uh, just kind of an at to me in the main game. This brought him up a whole new level. Gladio's DLC didn't do that. Prompto's DLC didn't do that. This did. This rose the game to a whole new level purely because of this one DLC. This one stinking DLC. And I am not going to taint this moment by going through and getting a bad ending with the extraverse. Oh no, I'm ending it here. Because I want to stew in this brilliance. I want to sit here and enjoy this feeling that the main game didn't give me, Prompto's episode didn't give me, Gladio's episode didn't give me. This is an epic feeling that I should feel at the end of every single game. Every single game. If this, if the entirety of Final Fantasy XV were like this, had the same awesome feeling, the sense of elation. It would be my best game of this year because er, it was at the Game Awards. Screw you. This is the best DLC I have ever played. This is the most amazing thing. Sell this for $10 on its own, I'd buy it again, type deal. I'm not even joking. This is just so good. If it really was made by a separate team, Team Ignis, that was, uh, I guess, cut off from the main team to where they, like, basically, okay, you guys go over there and make Prompto's episode, you go over there and make Gladio's episode, you over there go make uh, Ignis's episode. This is the best episode. And I am glad that it came out last. Because Gladio's episode was okay. Prompto's episode was okay. It's because this was the end. This was the final one. This leaves off on a brilliant note. A better note than the main game. A better note than any of the DLCs ever. And I doubt that any of the any of the DLCs, because of course it's gonna be a stinking DLCs after this, because they're trying to make this our game as a surface. A part of me is like, if they make more like this, but the problem is, they won't be able to. They will not be able to make more DLC like this. This has... <laughs> this... It's like I'm repeating this stuff, but hilariously enough, this makes the main story better. That alternate ending that I'm going to be calling the good ending is better than the ending we got in the game. 
It has a sense of satisfaction more than anything. And of course, people are like, Bar, but what about Luna? Luna Freya? I was like, eh? <laughs> I was never that much fan of her. <laughs> I wasn't that big a fan of her, and really, he can go join her in the afterlife when he dies normally. But seriously, in a way, this does a better job representing the movie. Because here's the thing. When I watched the Kingsguard, I think it's called Kingsguard, Kingsglaive. Yeah, Kingsglaive. That's what it was called. Kingsglaive, the movie that accompanied this game. Final Fantasy XV, Kingsglaive. Is a... I like it. I look back on that movie fondly. God damn. If the, ga if the game was more like the movie, I would love it. Because the game, this episode, episode Ignis and Kingsglaive have such a powerful atmosphere. Have such a powerful atmosphere that I have never seen anywhere else. It has a wonderful feeling of kind of dark gothicness, but it still has the brilliant light. In its action, it's cool. And episode Ignis recaptures the epicness of Kingsglaive. Kingsglaive, the movie that accompanied this game. While isn't the best thing ever, it had a wonderful atmosphere. And this episode captures it to a T. The aspect of running around with epic action, having wonderful characters. There is not a single bad thing about this DLC. I have nothing else to say. Episode Ignis is the best thing to come out of Final Fantasy XV. Bite me. I've been Neon Icy Wings. If you like this, snap that like button down and I will see you dudes next time. Goodbye!